So far, we've only really looked at the solubility of solids when it dissolves in a liquid or when another liquid dissolves in a liquid. Well, here we're going to look at how gases are dissolved in liquids. And the main factor, or one of the main factors that decides whether you can dissolve lots of a gas is the pressure on the gas above the liquid that you're going to dissolve it in dissolve it in. And so pressures effects on solubility are that gases with more pressure on them will become more soluble. Let's take a look at this diagram in our textbook right here. You'll notice that this is like a movable little piston that can move up and down. And if you count the number of uh, small spheres, these happen to be carbon dioxides right here, that are dissolved in the liquid, there's one, two, three inside the liquid with the piston right here. If we squish it and then we compress this gas up above, Notice now we have one, two, three, four, and a couple more being pushed in here as well. And so more gas is pushed into the liquid. And then after equilibrium is established, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, there's lots more gas dissolved in here than in here. So this happens all the time in things like soda pop bottles. And so um, in sparkling water or, or, or soda pop, what they'll do is they'll take this small area right up here that's filled with gas and they'll pressurize it a whole bunch, forcing more carbon dioxide into your uh, liquid, and then it makes lots of bubbles. And that's why when you uh, loosen the cap, you'll hear like a, a noise because that gas pressure that's in here is released, and that allows more uh, gases, the carbon dioxide, to bubble out of the solution. So going back here, here is a graphical representation of how solubility is directly proportional to the partial pressure of the gas. And the general rule is that the more pressure above the solution, the more gas that will dissolve. And you can see right here, as you increase pressure, 0.5 atmospheres, 1 atmosphere, helium, neon, carbon monoxide, or oxygen, all will dissolve more and more and more. Because the further pressure you get to the right, the more solubility you have on the right as well. So bottom line, you want to dissolve a gas, squish it some more. Add more pressure above the solution, and then more gas will dissolve.